Bioorganic compounds are organic compounds found in biological systems. These organic compounds will have the same types of organic reactions and functional groups that we've introduced in previous videos. One difference with bioorganic compounds is that they'll have much more complex structure. One of the main purposes for this complex structure is so that biological systems can recognize the different molecules involved. This is known as molecular recognition. Carbohydrates are the first type of bioorganic compounds that we'll study. Carbohydrates can be polyhydroxyaldehydes or ketones, or they could be compounds composed of linked polyhydroxyaldehydes or ketones. Carbohydrates are the most abundant class of biological compounds, making up about 50% of the biomass. Within biological systems, carbohydrates are frequently used as structural components, such as cellulose. They can be used as recognition sites, or they could even be used for metabolic energy, as when glucose is broken down. As we learn about carbohydrates, we'll often represent them using what are known as Fischer projections. Fischer projections have the carbon chain from top to bottom instead of horizontally from left to right. Within the Fischer projection, the horizontal lines are bonds that point toward the viewer, whereas vertical lines are bonds that point away from the viewer. These are two examples of Fischer projections for some very common carbohydrates. This first one is D-glucose, also known as dextrose, and is the most abundant carbohydrate in nature. The second carbohydrate is D-fructose, and you'll recognize that even though glucose and fructose have the same molecular formula, C6H12O6, they have slightly different structures. Glucose has an aldehyde functional group, whereas fructose has a ketone functional group. We can classify carbohydrates in a few different ways. As we do this, we should add a note that we often use different terms interchangeably when talking about carbohydrates. We could refer to these molecules as carbohydrates, saccharides, or sugars. Two types of carbohydrates are simple carbohydrates, also known as monosaccharides, and complex carbohydrates. Complex carbohydrates involve two or more monosaccharide units linked together. If there are two linked monosaccharides, the complex carbohydrate is known as a disaccharide. If the complex carbohydrate has 3 to 10 monosaccharide units linked together, we call this an oligosaccharide. If the complex carbohydrate has more than 10 monosaccharide units linked together, we call this a polysaccharide. When we have complex carbohydrates, it's important to remember that these can be broken down by hydrolysis to form the monosaccharide units.